Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hi, good evening. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. How was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Yes. Yes. Did you rest? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. So welcome back. So it's um uh, thank you. It's September seventh, two thousand twenty. So Helen, you're working graveyard yes. tonight. Yes, I am. All right. Am. What time did you go in? Going 3 p.m. 3 p.m. And what time do you finish? 11. Okay. Only eight hours. Okay. Yes. That's good. Christian, how are you? Can you hear me, Christian? Hi, teacher. How are you, Christian? I am fine, and you? I'm doing okay, thanks. How was your weekend, Christian? Yes. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, very good. Nice, good. That's, that's the idea that people rest. Ronald. Teacher, how are you? I'm doing okay, thank you. How are you today? I'm blue because of the last class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. I, I think that it was a, a good group and yeah. you are amazing teacher. Thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing and brave. You guys are very brave because connecting every day from 8 to 10 p.m., it's it's not an easy thing. Yeah, but. Okay. Maria, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, and you? I'm doing okay, thank you. How was your weekend, Maria? Mm, very busy, but that's good. <laughs> okay, good, good. Araceli, how are you, Araceli? Can you hear me? Maybe not. Okay, so today is September 7th, 2020. Let's begin. Um, do you guys remember the topics we discussed uh, last Friday? Do you remember? Hey, Hello, Araceli. I find, I find things. Good. How was your day, Araceli? I guess she has connection problems. All right. So, anyways. Hello, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Can you hear me? Uh, today is uh, September 7th. Okay, yes. To to 220. Okay, today is September 7th, 2020. I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay, so let's talk about the topics we covered uh, last Friday. Do you remember the topics that we covered? Anybody, somebody, anyone, someone? We, we, we made a review uh, for past model. Right, right. So uh, we had a review about past models. Remember that we use past models Every time you want to express an idea directly related to past. 
eh, hubieras ido, no hubieras llamado, lo hubieras comprado, te pudiste haber caído. Anything that already happened and you're still giving your opinion. So it is mandatory that when you're using past models, um, according to the message, according to your idea, uh, you can use may, might, could, must, should, would. It depends on what your message exactly is. So what is the form of the verb when we use past models class? What is the form of the verb? Is it base form? Is it simple past? Is it I past participle? It's past participle. It's past participle. So how do you say hubieras planchado la camisa? How do you say that in English? How do you say planchar in English? Iron. Uh -huh. So how do you say hubieras planchado la camisa? You should have iron your shirt. Very good. Do you remember how to say ajado in English? Wrinkled. Wrinkled. Wrinkled means ajado or arrugado. Wrinkled. Wrinkled. Sorry, sorry. Ring, ring. With the end. Wrinkled. With the end. So this is the, 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 the good one. Wrinkled. So if your shirt is wrinkled, someone tells you, look, you're going to a job interview. You should have ironed your shirt. You should have ironed your shirt. Okay. Well. How do you say pudiste haber pasado el examen? Pudiste it's an ability. What is the auxiliary or model that we used to talk about abilities? Or possibilities. You could, you could pass. You pass. could have. You could have. You could have passed the exam. Pudiste haberlo pasado. You could have passed the exam. Yes. Okay. Any questions or comments about past models? No. Any questions about last Friday? before you start doing the talking. Sure. Yes, sir. And, and wrinkles is only for clothes or, or? It can be for the skin too. Ah, okay, okay. Like uh, grandfathers, grandmothers, uh, they usually have a lot of wrinkles in on their skin. Okay. Yes. All right, um, anything else? Any other questions or comments? No? All right, so let's go with our first activity. I will assign you to work in pairs. Um, talk about the different activities you guys did on the weekend, what you guys did Friday night, if you still did something, what you did Saturday, Sunday, and today, all day. So let me see. So we have, hold on. Make rooms. Let me, hold on, give me a second. I need to find the attendance list. So I can mention your names and check who's here and who's not. All right, so let's do this. Uh, Sophia Stephanie? Present. Okay. Uh, Fernando Arturo? Not yet. Coralia? Present. Very good. Uh, Ronald Humberto. Present. Good. 
uh, Marcela? Not yet. Jimmy Rodriguez? Not yet. Christian Alexander? Present. Good. Uh, Josué Edgardo? Present. Very good. Jimena Alexandra? Not yet. Samuel Rosales? Not yet. Rocio? Not yet. Mercy? Not yet. Araceli? Bye. Very Bye. good. Nice, Araceli. Uh, Maria? Present, teacher. Very good. Helen? Here, teacher. Very good. Luis? Here, teacher. Very good. Uh, Stephanie Montano? Not yet. Christian Omar? Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Wendy? Not yet. And Magdalena? All right. So before I continue, uh, I want to congratulate the ones that had a perfect attendance during the whole training. Um, so that was, uh, that was not an easy thing to do, to be present for 26 times. So congratulations. And for the ones that had only maybe one absence, well, congratulations to everybody because you guys are here and you finished the course. But if you had perfect attendance, my respects to you. All right, so let's, uh, let's begin and let's do this. Talk about what you guys did on your weekend. So here we go. Mercy. How are you, Mercy? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? I'm doing okay. How was your weekend? It was okay. Did Thank you rest? You. Did you rest? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> I will send you to room two with Christian and Josue. Okay. All right.
Mm. And tax classes too. Yes, yes, uh, tax classes. Taxes, I don't know how do you say tax classes. Impuestos. <laughs> Classe de impuestos. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Ay, teacher. Taxes courses, taxes training. On Saturday. Okay, taxes is there. Okay. On Saturday. Saturday. On Saturday. Four hours, five hours? Five hours. Five hours. Oh my God. What time exactly was the training, Luis? What time? Uh, yes. Five, five hours exactly. But what time did it start and what time did it finish? I, I start in 1 p.m. Uh, uh, until uh, 5 p.m. From 1 to 5. 1 to 5, same. Do you prefer trainings in the morning or in the afternoon? In the afternoon. <laughs> But in the afternoon, it feels oh. more, more, people feel more tired. Yes, yes. Uh, in the morning, I, I. You work? I work, yes. Okay. In the yeah. weekend, I sleep. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, you need to rest too. Rest, yes. Sleeping is necessary. Yes, teacher. Good. They play. Yes. They they play the in, guitar in your in your in, in until your, you you are and yes taking um, your your breakfast. Yes, in, yes. Is do you say courtesy? Courtesy. Courtesy. It's courtesy of the restaurant. Oh. Yes, it's good. Which restaurant, it. Sofia? It's in Cachivache. Okay, and where is it yes. located? You, you can go in, you can go into, into a street. You, when you go into Planet de Rendero or uh -huh. uh, in, uh, I don't know, how do you say? Um, uh, okay, the Comalapa Road. Yes. Okay, so there are two ways to go to that place. Yes, yes. Okay. And what kind of food do they sell? All, all typical food, American food, or whatever you want. So they have yes. variety of food. Yes, you you can eat um, chicken, you can eat pasta you can eat meat or you can eat a typical food like a uh, gallo and chicha uh-huh good good yes and what about yes. the prices are, are are they accessible are they friendly yes are friendly and i recommend breakfast because you have a view and it's beautiful and I say to Ronald uh -huh. that you, when you eat the the breakfast, uh, they for for courtesy of the restaurant, uh -huh. they uh, play play the guitars three oh. three months. Oh, yes. Good. The price and the price are good because you eat um, so there's the signs. Sings um, or maybe since since or since three three dollars or four uh -huh. and you eat fine you eat well yes oh, and you, good, eat, good. you eat well yes nice yes the price is it, it's good good very good yes. good for you and it's outside it's better it's outside and you open, don't op open space have contact Yes, and you don't you don't have contact with other people. Okay, so it, it, there is like privacy. Yes, not privacy, privacy, but, but it it's yes. There it's is a distance between um, the tables. Yes. All right. Good. Yeah. Nothing says uh, what I what I. Uh, but in your us. case, didn't do a test, the COVID test. No, no. no. Uh, um, Another kind of test. 
no, was before, one month before uh, the, the quarantine. Okay. Was in, in January, in January. Okay. Yes. So in my case, I, I had the virus. When? And my when? husband too. Really? On May, yes. Symptomatic. Uh, no, but was not. It How do you say serious. grave? It wasn't serious. It wasn't serious. Okay. Yes, was just the the fever and the had, had headache, 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 headache. Um, perdimos el gusto y el olfato. Oh, so you lost your senses. Yes. And who got because it first, you or your husband? My husband. Okay, so he passed it to you. My husband and yeah, two times because he feel the the symptoms, and when when he go to the hospital, I didn't feel anything. Okay. But was exactly the next week I I symptoms like him okay and and I imagine that you stayed in your house yes we was in our house okay all right good it's okay. good that you are telling the story yes all right. But I have a. ¿Cómo se dice retraso? Delay. Delay. Uh huh. Eso. Hello, Stephanie. Hi, Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> me atrasé porque me tocó ir a la oficina y tuve que bañarme y todo. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Thank you for making the space and the time. Okay. Okay. Yes. How are you? Um, No, not Fernando. Yeah, Fernando, Fernando. Yes, yes, teacher. <laughs> it's Fernando, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, how was your weekend, Fernando? Um, in the weekend, teacher, on Saturday, I was working on Sunday side for the restaurant. Okay. On the Sunday, in the morning, I cleaned in my room. I went shopping with my brother. Uh, in the afternoon, I was working on a video. On a, in on in a now, video. teacher, I was working in a video. Okay. All right. On day. Yes. Good. Now, uh, working all day. <laughs> Good. Yes. Thank God that you have a work. Yes, teacher. That's good. The homework? Yes. Yes, I finished. So I have a 99 person. I, I remember. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Good. And you? No, I almost uh, finished, but I have uh, a, some, some activities. Pending. Pending. <laughs> okay. All right. So let me. But change. I hope to finish this night. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> good. That's a good idea. Yes. <laughs> one, one, one. Oh. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Alexander. Hi, teacher. How is your work going, Alexander? Is your work okay? Yes, okay. Okay. So, uh, when is your day off, Christian? Your next day off? Yeah, on Saturday. Saturday. So, you work Sundays too? Mm, pardon, sorry? You work Sundays? Yes, yes, all day. All day. Okay. All right, good. All right, yes. so... Any questions or comments about um, 
how to express ideas in the simple past tense? No? All right, so let's go back to the main session. All right, um, welcome back. Uh, any questions or comments on how to express ideas in the simple past tense or the past continuous or used to or would? There are different structures that you can use when you're talking about past events. Simple past, past continuous, used to. Would any questions or comments? No, all right. So let me show you this page here. Huh. I had the book prepared, okay, right here. And this is the last page of the of the book. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. What is what is the name of the of the page? Personal, personal training. training. Personal training. Yes, personal training. Okay, so let's start with part one. May I have a volunteer to read uh, those two questions? Yes, me. Okay. Are trainings implemented only to cover problems with employee performance? How do you evaluate, evaluate the effectiveness of training? Very good, thank you. So you have to answer those two questions. Are trainings implemented only to correct problems with employee performance? How do you evaluate the effectiveness of training? So, in other words, is training offered only when the worker is not doing 100% or are there other circumstances when you can offer uh, training? So, that's going to be your, your um, you have to answer those two questions and then uh, you have to read this example here. When you finish reading this, then you have to answer uh, the questions that we have. Any questions before I reassign you? So part one and part two are gonna be the sections you guys are gonna be working on. Questions before I send you to work in pairs? No. No. Okay, so let me, let me see, six. All right, so we're going to send room six. Room six. Room seven. Room seven. And move to one. Move to five. Then I exchange with him. And I exchange with her. All right, so let's see. Uh -huh. Yes. So here we go, people. 
Do parts one and two, please. So we have to do the number number one and number, number two. One. Yes. Okay. Our tra trainings in our trainings implement and I checking so I don't know what we have to do. Don't worry, he Teacher, will explain. Don't laugh. <laughs> no, uh he will explain to you. Okay. I confused with with Maria. Okay, <laughs> what you need to do is answer the two questions in part one. So in other words, when does your company offer training? Is it only to correct uh, employees' performance or are they offered in a general way? And then when you finish discussing those two questions, you read the article in part two. That's it. Okay, teacher. Sure. I I wait for for Helen. Sure. <laughs> Yes, please. Okay. Uh, and number two, how do you evaluate the effective, ooh, effectiveness, effectiveness. Effectiveness. effectiveness of training? How do you evaluate the effect, ah, otra vez. Effectiveness. Effectiveness. Uh -huh. Effectiveness. How do you evaluate the effectiveness of training? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you finish a training, uh, are you given options to evaluate uh, the training, the trainer, the topics, uh, mm -hmm. the methodology, and, and all those um, aspects that are really, really important? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. It, it's yes. important too because it's necessary now the... Uh, how do you say medir? Measure. Measure the the 
Eh, ah, knowledge uh -huh. of employee. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And in my case, in my case, uh, in my in my company, for example, the superintendencia del sistema financiero is a uh, obligation evaluate the personal in in different uh, etapas, uh, stages or steps. Stages, uh -huh. in in in. Quiero decir como entre cada trimestre tiene que haber una evaluación. Okay, so every trimester you need to have an evaluation. Every trimester. Trimester. I, trimester. 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 I need an evaluation. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, okay. Is is the evaluation long? Mm, not not really, because I I evaluate the different. Uh, Different regular, ay, normas regulatorias, regulatory yeah. compliance, no. Yeah, compliance, yes, compliance. Compliance, uh -huh. uh, For example, ley de lavado de dinero, uh, normas específicas de riesgo operativo, uh -huh. Okay. So every trimester there is an evaluation. Yes. Okay. Quality, quality is, is very important sure, in, my, in sure. my evaluation. Sure, sure. Quality is important in, 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 in all companies. The problem is that many companies, they don't pay attention on the service, the quality that the company is given. And, but it should be part of. You know? Yeah. All right. Let me visit this other room. Right here. Para corregir problemas, algo así. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Are you practicing English? <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Sorry, I asked <laughs> if <laughs> they can explain me this part. Which part? The number one. I don't the understand first, the first oh. question. The first question says, uh, when does training come to your company? Is it only to correct employees' uh, mistakes or are they offered to everybody in general? Ah, yes, we ah. need uh, just part two. Oh, the, the second part. Uh, see? Okay, how do you evaluate the effectiveness of training? So, uh, okay, so you're taking a training in your house, in your work, it's five days, the training is five days. How do you evaluate if the training was good or not? Do you evaluate the trainer, the topics, the, the sequence of, of, of topics and, and different things? Or do you say, okay, we finished today and thank you very much for your time. So, mm -hmm. Does the does the person involved in the training have the chance to evaluate the training? Like, what is your opinion? Okay. Uh huh. So let me see. Room six. Okay. The. Well, for the number one, in my case, um, the training are implemented for everyone. It's not only for the employee mistakes. Correct, mm -hmm. And uh, the second one, uh, when the trainings uh, end, always the coach or the teacher always asks, if uh, we understand everything, if we uh, we have some question or something like that, and always um, are evaluate everyone in the in the training. Okay, so you evaluate okay. the, the, the facilitator, the topics, the chronology of events and things like that? 
Yes, always. The only training uh, it for me doesn't like me. It was one I have to be in a. We have to to do a group for um, I don't know what is the word, but uh, is a como el comité de seguridad en la en la empresa. Okay. Because the human resource never prepare us for that okay. they only send us and when when us arrive to the training we don't know anything about what is the topic and the and the training but when the training ends we stay uh siempre nos quedamos como y qué hacemos con esa información porque right. no sabíamos que <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it, it happens. It happens. Okay. For example, in my work with the activities that are, that are done during the day, they evaluate, they evaluate, evaluate for the example, is I do have video well, is I write a story well, if I edit a uh, photo well, and he had decide a uh, web page. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, everybody's evaluated in, in a different form according to your uh, responsibilities. So uh, when they're evaluating Fernando, yes, all the is. aspects they evaluate are related with technology, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. All right, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. hello. Uh, how are you? Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. So let's um let's see this here. Did you finish doing uh parts one and two? Yes. Did you answer the three questions? Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. good. All right. So let me go back so let's go back to the main session close groups okay uh we, we have to yeah we have to resolve the first the number one on the book welcome back Okay, uh, any questions about the reading? Any questions or comments about the reading? And uh, the family was talking, but uh, I can hear it. I don't know if she's on mute. Is microphone. Uh, who were you working with, Samuel? I was working with uh, uh, this activity with Jose and Marcela, but Marcela never spoke, so I think that she's not in the class. I don't know. Okay. All right. Um, any questions? How, how, when was the last time you guys took a training in your office? in your institution where you work? When was the last time you took a training? You never took trainings? In my case, the last weekend. Last weekend, okay. Someone else? That's a, that's, that was very recent, Mercy. Yes. Okay, someone else took a training. Uh, when was the last time you guys took a training? In July, teacher. July, okay, July. It is kind of recent too. Luis, when was the last time you took a training? Luis, can you hear me? In this in Saturday, I had a tax course. Good. 
on Saturday he had a tax course. All right, good. Anybody else? So this is the question. When you finish the training, either last weekend, last month, at the beginning of the year, um, did you have the chance to evaluate the training? Did they ask you for your opinion? It's a question. Did you, <laughs> did you have the chance to evaluate the training? Uh, in my case, yeah. yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, I, I had a, very, a lot of training of, uh, for Santillana. Okay. And, and always they send a questionnaire. Yes. For evaluate the activity. Okay, good. Someone else had the chance to evaluate uh, your last training? They asked for your opinion? No? So they just told you, thank you very much for your time and see you when I see you. Is that how they did it? No. In my case, they don't. They don't. They didn't give you the chance to give your opinion. Yes, they don't have. They don't want to know what I think. About <laughs> it. All right. Anybody else? In my case, teacher, the Cameron Hotel never, never asked for. Your opinion. My opinion. Okay. For, the, for a, a training. Okay. Now, do you think that the, the audience should be involved in giving opinions about the training? Is it a good idea, a bad idea? What do you think? It's a good idea. I I think it's a good idea, but if the human resources um, give um, give a, a segment, following. How do you say segment? follow up? Follow up. Uh -huh. If they have follow up, because uh, they they can see what is your plan in the in the business and they prepare um, a pro in, in your in your career right right okay good anybody else wants to give your opinion before we go to the next part no teacher yes I don't have an opinion about that, but yeah. I I have a, a question. Yes. When you refer a training, you add all the all the types or yes, training? in general, in general, in general. It, it, it can be related directly to your um your obligations, your task, or it can be something related like uh, emergencies in case of a natural disaster, any type of training. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or when just the organization ha wants to, no, que la organización quiere que sepamos sobre un tema en específico. Yeah, it doesn't es, matter. It, it, it can be about a particular topic or it can okay. be a, a general. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Sí, es que como, yes, Coralie. Como, como aquí a veces decimos que tenemos capacitación. O tenemos como un entrenamiento en ciertas uh -huh. técnicas o actividades. Right. But in English, it's the same for Right. For all. So it, it can be training. It can be, uh, uh, what was the, the other courses? But I, the mm -hmm. idea is that when the you courses. receive something, when you finish it, the idea mm -hmm. is that you are better prepared mm -hmm. in the subject that was explained or given. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So it can be general or it can be something in particular. Something in particular. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. So right now, what you guys will do is um, have the chance, the opportunity to access to the questions that are included after a training is finished. 
So for this activity, I will give you uh, the next 10 minutes and then we go to the evaluation of the course, the real evaluation of the course. So uh, let me, okay, room, room eight. Uh, move to room eight. Move to room nine. Move to room nine. So let me check this here. I'm going to exchange with him. All right, so here we go. Once again. So discuss the questions that the uh, page has and see if the questions are good or not. Pastel. One or two, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, good. Good. Okay, the next question is, how well did uh, so attend? No. Um, teacher, how do you say, ha estado muy atenta al, al desarrollo del curso? Hey, she's been paying attention to the mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. She's been paying attention to the course. Okay, mm -hmm. she's... Uh, that. <laughs> she's been. She's been. <laughs> she's been paying attention to the course. To the, to the excellent, course. excellent, nice. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. All right. ¿Cuáles son algunas alternativas para para evaluar para evaluar la formación? Evaluate.
Yes, it, 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 it's too general. Not is focusing in, in, in your skill or, or in your knowledge. Hello, Marcela. I think that she's busy because she, she doesn't talk. She doesn't, okay. So which one are you guys discussing right now? That the, uh, eva the evaluation, uh -huh. no, not is focusing in your in your skills that in, that you need. It's it's too general. Right. Only only you evaluate the the training, but not not is specific. Exactly, any. exactly. Yeah, it's very general. Yes. Okay. So I think it's time to go back to the main session. Okay. okay. Welcome back, welcome back. Okay, let me take attendance for the second time. Um, Fernando Arturo. Fernando, Fernando. Present teacher. Okay. Let me see this here. All right, good. Um, Marcela, Marcela, Marcela. Okay. Jimmy Rodriguez. Present. Present. Okay. Jimena Alexandra. Hmm. Samuel Rosales. Present. Okay. Uh, Rocío. Rocío, Rocío. Mercy. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Stephanie Montano. Here. Stephanie, Here, Stephanie. Teacher. Here, teacher. Here. Okay, Here. very good. Uh, Wendy. Present teacher. And Magdalena. Magdalena. Very good, very good. All right. Um, now we go to the to the evaluation. Uh, I understand that everybody received an email, or you also received it in your WhatsApp. Is that correct? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let me. It's right here. I don't have email. Okay, did you receive the WhatsApp? No. Really? Really? I don't receive. Okay, who, who's talking right now? Sophia. Really? Yes. Okay. Can you double check your, your, um, email? Your email? Okay. You're in your chat too? Okay, let me. Second, one second. Um, okay, can you guys see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay. Do you remember this information? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So look, it's in Spanish. It yes. says datos del curso. So, okay, I need your attention. Necesito que me pongan atención, please. Esta parte es bien, bien delicada. Y toda la información que usted debe de ingresar en esta encuesta, usted no tiene que digitar nada más que darle copy-paste. 
porque se puede equivocar en algún punto, en algún guión, en algún número, lo que sea. Entonces, eh, usted recibió un chat y un correo igual a este, donde a la hora de usted ingresar la, la, la información, solamente le da copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. Aparte de Sofía, ¿hay alguien que no agarró este correo o ese WhatsApp? Uh, yo no lo tengo. No. No, yo tampoco. Ok, uh, entonces estamos hablando de Sofía. ¿Quién más? Dígame su nombre, please. Ronald, Ronald, Ronald. Ronald, ¿quién más? Uh, yo creo que ya lo habría en cuenta de satisfacción inglés. Yes. Se solicita su apoyo para completar la siguiente encuesta de satisfacción sí. de información. That's the one. Esa es. Ah, ok. Ok, listen. Sofía y Ronald, ¿pueden verificar en, su, en sus correos no deseados por, por si acaso les cayó ahí? Ok. Acuérdense, mm. necesito que todos estemos ahorita donde estoy yo ahorita, ya sea en el WhatsApp o en la computadora, eh, donde usted, donde Let usted. El sender mm. eh, fue inglés corporativo. Inglés corporativo, ok. Mm. <coughs> or could be Elena. Or Elena. Elena. Yes. Or mm, yes. Yes, I, I, I have. You received it. Okay, good. Yes, I received. Okay, Ronald, can you please double check? No, no lo tengo. Are you sure? Segurísimo. Y en el en su WhatsApp. ¿De qué, de qué fecha es, teacher? Uh, ¿Cuándo lo recibieron? 3 de septiembre. 3 de, 3 de septiembre. septiembre. ¿Es opción? 3 de septiembre. 26, 6, 7, 7. It's Elena Méndez, yes. de Sender. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y de. The subject. Es favor completar encuesta de satisfacción del curso de inglés intermedio módulo 1. Ok, acuérdense que todos vamos a ir haciendo la encuesta juntos. No necesito que nadie se adelante. ¿Y alguien no me lo puede reenviar? No, porque cada uno recibió la información que va a ingresar personalizada. Porque aparece el nombre de, de, de su compañía, su nombre tiene que ir tal como usted en el DUI. Porque si no lo recibió Ronald, yo lo tendría que reportar ahorita. Y, y, pero aparentemente a todos se les enviaron. ¿Y por qué? No, teacher, no lo tengo. No. Ok, let me... Déjeme lo reporto. Eh, ¿Me puede enviar su nombre completo, Ronald, a, a mi WhatsApp? Sí. Please. No se me adelante nadie, please. Teacher, y los que le habíamos contestado antes, porque, por ejemplo, yo le recibí al mediodía y estaba justo a mi hora de almuerzo y en ese momento la, la respondí. Ok, no hay problema. No hay eh, problema. Ok, give, give me, let me report a Ronald's. Uh -huh.
Ronald Humberto. Sí. Your last name? Barrera Rodríguez. Barrera. The name of the company. Hola. The name of the company? Atlántida, Banco Atlántida. Okay. Okay, ahorita lo estoy reportando para Ya me están respondiendo. Vamos a ver qué qué Okay, they will verify right now. Okay, uh, Stephanie, uh, usted recibió este correo que dice donde dice que está viendo donde dice gracias. Sí, en el, en el WhatsApp lo tengo. Ok, eh, necesito que le haga captura y esto va para todos también. Una vez se haya terminado la encuesta, cuando reciba eso que está viendo en mi pantalla que dice gracias, la respuesta se ha enviado, tiene que tomarle captura y enviarla al chat de WhatsApp. No a mí, sino al, al, al chat de WhatsApp. Al chat de la clase, teacher. Al, al grupo. De al, sí, al grupo, al grupo, correcto. Ah, ok. ¿Y qué hice? Acá, por acá tenía la, la, la... Ah, ok, it's right here. So, anyways. ¿Y WhatsApp no recibió tampoco, Ronald? No, estaba buscando en el historial y nada. Ok. Al menos de esa fecha, no. All right. Remember de que el, 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 el nombre tiene que ir tal como, como está en su DUI. Okay, give me a few minutes, few seconds. So, les, les vuelvo a repetir, es eh, de, de darle copy paste. Por eso el correo o el WhatsApp que usted recibió iba personalizado para que solo esté dando copy paste, copy paste. Y ya después las preguntas que les hacen, pues, eh, es de que la persona sea objetivo y que piense realmente, que, que escriba lo que realmente piensa. Teacher, ya lo encontré. Ok. You found it? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Ok. No problem. Tanto, tanto cobro aquí en el teléfono. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's proceed. Look, pónganme atención a, aquí a, la, a lo que les estoy enseñando ahorita. Ahí donde dice datos del curso, cada uno de ustedes recib, lo recibió personalizado. No uh -huh. tiene que agregarle ni quitarle nada. Nada más lo que tiene que hacer es darle copy-paste. Entonces, una vez usted está acá, le da clic. Y le va a aparecer esta pantalla verde. Can you see it? Yes. Ok. Todavía no haga nada. Que, que Quiero explicarle cómo es que es esta cuestión. Eh, ingresa el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y plecas será proporcionado por el proveedor puede copiar y pegarlo ese puede no es opcional sino que ahí le hubieran puesto debe, debe copiar y pegarlo así que no vaya a estar poniéndole ahí sino que tiene que copiar darle copy paste el, el número dos nombre completo según como aparece en su DUI si aparece con cinco nombres, ponga cinco nombres. Si aparece solo con tres, ponga tres, pero tal como está en el DUI. El correo electrónico, el que usted uh, dio, a donde, el, el que estuvo de contacto mientras estuvo el curso en, en vigencia. Su número de celular, el sexo, tiene ahí las dos opciones. Empresa donde trabaja, según como está registrado eh, 
eh, ahí aparece toda esa información ya en, en, en el correo que les enviaron. El nombre del proveedor, aquí usted le tiene que dar clic y ahí le van a aparecer eh, todos los lugares que ofrecieron este, este curso. Entonces usted se va a ir y ¿cuál es el que va a, a buscar? Inglés corporativo. Y ahí entre paréntesis le han puesto Regal International SADCB. Ahí también solamente le va a dar uh, clic. El nombre del curso ya está ahí también. Y usted empieza a responder según lo que, cuáles sean sus opiniones. Um, any questions or comments? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta ahorita? Uh, a mí no me salió así de personalizado, así que no sé qué ponerle en el nombre del curso. Inglés Intermedio Módulo 1. Sí. Ah, ok. Bueno, si en, el, en, el, en el caso de, de, de Samuel, que no le apareció uh, personalizado, pues ni modo, va a tener que... Pero tenga un gran cuidado porque con una, con una cuestión que usted se equivoque y le dé enviar, eh, va a quedar desperdiciada su... Porque no hay segundas oportunidades, solamente Mi, una, una oportunidad que le da. Teacher, a mí tampoco me salió así con una lista desplegable en nombre del curso. ¿Qué tengo que poner exactamente? Ok, eh, es, aparece... Permítame, ahorita le digo. Para evitar. Bueno. Teacher, pero el nombre del curso hay que copiar y pegar. El, despe el desplegable es el de la empresa, ¿verdad? Sí, correcto. Mm, correcto. Ok. Sí. Ok, ok. Ok. Uh, ¿Alguna otra pregunta antes de darle su tiempo para que responda objetivamente? No. Yo, por, los, por ejemplo, en la primera, este, ahí usted dice que puede copiar y pegar, ¿verdad? Pero sí. como yo estoy haciéndolo desde el teléfono, eh, tuve que copiarlo como a mano. Para sí, 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 lo, lo puede hacer. Eh, lo único que debe tener un gran cuidado, porque si se equivoca en algo, la encuesta no se, lo va a no se lo va a validar y va a perder su oportunidad de dar su, su punto de vista. Ah, okay. Esa es la cuestión. Ok, any other questions or comments? Vaya, los voy a poner a todos en silencio y a medida que usted lo vaya terminando, hágalo con cuidado, tome su tiempo, lo envía. Cuando usted reciba la imagen que dice que ha sido enviado y gracias, le da copy paste, y le, le, le toma un screenshot y lo reenvía otra vez al, al chat de WhatsApp que tenemos nosotros. Okay. ¿Estamos claros? Sí. Yes. Ok, muy bien. Acuérdense, lo voy a poner en mudo a todos. Si usted tiene alguna pregunta, tiene que desactivar el, 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 el parlante para que yo lo pueda escuchar. Ok. All right. Thank you. All right. Teacher, a mí ya no me da opción de volverla a contestar. No, ya no, ya lo envió. Ya lo envié. Solo correcto. le mando entonces la captura de pantalla. Ok. Sí, correcto. Solamente la... La, la, la... la fotito que yo le tomé el, el día que la hice. Eh, sí, pero ahorita lo puede volver a hacer y la vuelve a enviar al, 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 al chat. Please. No, pero es que a mí no me da opción de entrar a la, a sí, la No, ya no, por eso les decía, Ajá. por esa razón es de que ellos sugieren que, que haga copy-paste, porque el... Uh, ah, que copie el HTTP y lo pegue en mi buscador. No, 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 uh, lo que quiero decir es lo siguiente, si usted ya Ajá. lo envió, ese, ¿Sí? esa era su única oportunidad, pero si usted recibió Ajá. el gracias, quiere decir que se procesó bastante bien. Ah, ya. Entonces, ya. entonces lo único que necesito es que le que saque un screenshot de donde le dijeron gracias y lo envíe al chat. Ok, ok. Please. Ok. Yo ya lo hice, ese, ese. Eh. Ajá. Sí. Y ya se lo envié a Elena. En la okay. parte... Con ese día me, me confirmó de recibido, así que creo que ya con eso, ¿no? Ok, pero también me lo envía al... al, al, al... Al, al del grupo manera, sí, el del grupo, porque de esa manera yo voy a ver si alguien me hace falta perfecto, ahorita se lo mando 
Okay. Y en la yes. parte del nombre del curso, yo lo tengo entre comillas, copio y pego eh, las comillas también. No, o sea, el puro nombre. Sí, porque aquí está entre comillas, entonces solo el nombre. Sí, el puro nombre. Ok, thank you. Sure. Ahí está el mío, Tichi. Yes, uh, ya tengo a Helen y a Stephanie. Thank you. Eh, teacher, yes, dice sir. una de las preguntas que, que otros cursos me interesan, se refiere como... Computación, albañilería, electricidad. Ah, ok. Este, ¿De casualidad tienen alguno que sea de italiano? ¿Perdón? ¿Tendrán alguno que sea de italiano o francés? No, no, sé si no. En cuestiones de idiomas, lo único que está ofreciendo ahorita es inglés. Uh, ¿Puedo poner ahí o solo los que ¿Puedo, tienen? Puedo, pues, sí, no, póngalo. Usted dice, quisiera un curso de italiano. Claro. Ah, ok. Gracias. Ya me la mía, teacher. ¿Perdón? ¿Ya le envió? I sent my... Yes. Okay. Yes, I received it, Wendy. Done, teacher. Good, thank you. Teacher, ¿cuándo empezamos el curso? Um, ahí está en la fecha, sí. Ahorita se lo... Se lo... Ah, sí, sí, ya lo, ya lo vi, gracias. Ok, good. Ok, 10 lo han enviado ya. Stephanie, Helen, Wendy, Ronald, Sophie, Samuel, Mercy, Araceli, Maggie Melendez. Who's Maggie Melendez? He's my, he's my nickname. Oh, Magdalena. Okay. <laughs> Magdalena. Christian. Luis. Maria. Jimmy. Trece. O 
Ok, tenemos ausente. Josué, 14. Necesito seis más. But... Marcela. Fernando, 15. Coralia, 16. Cristian Omar, 17. Mercy, 18. So, I'm missing only Marcela and Jimena. El que dice MRC soy yo, Marcela. ¿Ah? El que dice MRC soy yo, Marcela. Oh, no, no es Mercy. Uh -huh, no. Ok. Entonces, Mercy, Mercy ya lo terminó. Can you hear me, Mercy? Yes. Yes, I send you. Ok. Oh, sí, aquí está. ¿De quién es el número que termina en 6552? Mío. Jose y mío. Rocío. Oh, Rocío, thank you. You're okay. welcome. Marcela. Jimena, are you here? Okay, entonces estamos completos. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 18, 19. Okay. So Jimena is missing. Okay, um, thank you very much for, for, for completing the, the survey. All right, so let's continue. Let me see, where's the lesson plan? Right here. All right, so here we go. Um, do you guys remember? This is going to be a quick exercise. Okay. Got this here. We share. Okay, do you remember this topic? Do you remember fanboys? Conjunctions. Yes, conjunctions, exactly. So let me... All right, so... So let's do this one here. And complete each exercise according to your opinion about what is the best conjunction for each one. It's only 10 of them. So in some cases, more than one conjunction is, is possible. So don't feel afraid to um, change it. And if you have any questions, just call me up and I'll visit you. Go ahead. So let me...
Wait, wait, wait. For and we cannot wait for long. Wow. Nor. Yes or no? Uh, what? The... I I think. Yes, I. I... I think that is the correct. I did not call you. It is nice to hear your voice. Hmm. I did not uh, call no. you, but it is nice to hear your voice. I or did yet? not call you. I did uh -huh. not call you. Yet, it yet? is nice to hear your voice. Or you can also say, but. Jet, huh? Jet or, or bad. Jet uh -huh. or bad. Mm -hmm. It is nice to hear your voice. In, in the number two, teacher, we, can, we can't we can wait for you long now, uh -huh. nor on Saturday. Good. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Good. It, it, was, it was an emergency, so I called you. I called you. I called you, yes. Uh -huh. I called you? Mm -hmm. Saturday. Uh, teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, what is the meaning the the no? Uh, which one? The number two. Question uh, number two. We cannot wait for you long now. Yes. Uh -huh. no. What, what no. is what is what is your question? Ahora. 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 Now. Now, yes, means or, ahora. Or, I think the number two. Or. So no. we cannot wait for you long now or on Saturday. Or, yes. Or, or nor on Saturday. Nor. Nor or no. or. Nor. Because this is the translation. No te podemos esperar mucho ahorita ni sí. el sábado. Pero puede decir no te podemos esperar mucho ahorita. Eh, or el sábado. So the two, oh, options, are good. The two, so two options are good. Okay. I'm uh -huh. Number three. He was late again. <laughs> and I think it's but. Okay. <laughs> but I think it's the same but for which, which number are you doing the number four N number four i didn't call you uh-huh but it is nice to hear you your voice uh-huh what would be a synonym of but in this case yet good very good so we can put yet too yeah right? yeah the two options are good Okay. No. Wait again. Which, which one are you doing? What number are you doing? Number three. Number three. He was late again. Pero que... Llegó um. tarde otra vez. O estaba tarde okay. otra vez. Okay. Entonces, ¿qué decidió hacer? Decidió quedarse. What is the conjunction that we're missing there? En. 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 He was late again and he decided to stay. Okay, it's possible. How do okay. you say así que decidió quedarse? Así que decidió quedarse. How so. do you say exactly? So. Okay. So he was late oh. again, so he decided to stay. Yeah. Así que, okay. Así okay. que, uh -huh. Decidió quedarse. Exactly. Mm. Así que, decidió quedarse. So. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Which number are you doing? Six. Number five, six of five. Okay, El Salvador is warm. But beautiful. But beautiful. Another option? And? Uh-huh. And, and beautiful. 
El okay. Salvador is warm and beautiful. Yeah, because some people love the warm weather. Uh, yes. Teacher. yes, sir. I don't understand the number two. We cannot wait for you long now. Uh -huh. uh, but on Saturday? Uh, no. If we had something here, if we had something extra after Saturday, uh, then you could say, we cannot wait for you long now. But on Saturday, it's another story. But on Saturdays, I might think about it. But not in this case. So what would be the best option there? Not say. Okay. So it <laughs> says. Understand. Okay. So, uh huh. On Saturday. Okay, so we cannot wait for you long now or on Saturday. No te podemos esperar mucho ahora o el sábado. O ahora ni el sábado. So you could say or or nor. Mm, no te podemos chico. esperar mucho, ni ahora, ni el sábado. Ahora o el sábado. So the two options are good. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. Good. good. Number eight. Hello, hello. Hello. Did you finish the exercises? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Uh, um, my classmate um, se le descargó el celular. Oh, her um, cell phone discharged. Her cell phone discharged. Discharged, yes. Discharged. Uh -huh. And then uh, she is changing the the, uh, the cell phone. Oh, okay. So she's looking for uh -huh. a okay. And uh, which number were you doing when that happened to her? And uh, we we was starting. <laughs> we were starting. We were we starting. were starting. So what do you think is the answer for the first one, Josue? Uh, the answer for the first one. For the first one. She can go to the mm. park today. Mm -hmm. She can go to the park today. She can. Or tomorrow. Okay, good. What about number two? We cannot wait for you long now. No te podemos esperar mucho ahora. For that one, you have two possibilities. Uh -huh. um, on Saturday. So. so, no te podemos esperar. No te podemos esperar mucho ahora. Mm, four. No, verdad. Uh -uh. No. 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 So mm -hmm. we cannot wait for you long now or on Saturday. Mm -hmm. so, so you can use two options nor or. Ah, okay. No okay. te podemos esperar ahora ni el ni. sábado. Uh -huh. No te podemos esperar ahora o el sábado. So the two options are good. Okay. What about number three? He was late again. He decided to stay. He was late again. Y esta se retrasó otra vez. Ajá. Uh -huh. But he decided. This how how can I pronounce decided? Decided. decided. He was late okay. again. Uh, but he decided to stay. Okay, that is, that is a possibility. Yes. Okay. Okay. So uh, let let me let me move you. Let me see who's not assigned yet. 
Oh, okay. Maria is out of the okay. I will send her to room two, and I will send you to room three. Okay, okay. Uh, Josue, Marcela, can you hear me? Okay, so I'll send you to room three, Josue. Yes, teacher. Okay, so hold on. So let me send you to another one, Marcela. Let me see this here. Okay. I'll send you to room four. Four. The important point is that four is used to specify a period of time. Okay. Four can be used when talking about the past, present, or future. Here are three example sentences that use similar vocabulary. Let's see. Okay. Which one are you doing right now? Did you finish everything? Yes. Yes. Any, any questions or comments? That we didn't use for and yet in any. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, he was late again, but he decided to stay. His... No, the for and yet. Uh, the conjunctions for and yet we didn't use in any sentence. Oh, but you can, you can. Where? Like, uh, like I was telling you, he was late again, yet he decided to stay. What is the oh. synonym of yet? Now. Yet. Yet, what is a synonym of yet? Aún todavía. No, but a synonym, a synonym in English. I didn't call you yet, it is nice to hear your voice. I didn't call you, but it is nice to hear your voice. Oh, can be, we can use both. Right, right. And that's what I explained at the beginning that uh, in some sentences, um, you have more than one option. So you have two okay. options, and, it, and if, if they match, the two options are accepted. What about, what about number 10? I need a computer. An internet. An internet, mm -hmm. or you could have said, I need a computer for internet. For use internet. No, just for internet. Necesito una computadora para internet. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So once again. Got it. Yeah, so, so you can use uh, different options in, in one sentence. So it's nothing like, uh, oh, this is the only option that we have. So you can, you can use uh, more than one. Okay. Oh, got it. All right.
All right, can you see the document? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay, uh, so mm -hmm. number one, she can go to the park today. Um, or tomorrow. Or tomorrow and tomorrow. So that's why I explained at, at the beginning. So you can have two options for the same sentence. And if they match, it's valid. What about number two? We cannot wait for you long now. Nor on Saturday. Nor on Saturday or on Saturday. Two different options. What about number three? He was late again. Uh-huh. So, so. so he decided to stay. What about number four? I didn't call you. But. But it is nice to hear your voice, yet it is nice it to is hear nice. your voice. Uh, it was an emergency. So. So I so. call you. Yes, El Salvador is warm. And beautiful. And, and beautiful, beautiful, but beautiful, okay. It depends on your point of view. I'm diabetic. But. But, yet, that ice cream looks irresistible. Uh, number eight, Bill Gates is famous. And rich. And rich. And rich. I like La Unión. But, but but it's too hot and I need a computer and, and, internet. and, and internet. internet or I need a computer for internet. Very good. Uh, any questions or comments, people? No. 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 Okay, so let me share with you. Uh -huh. Okay, can you see the screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, what is the name of the of the exercise? Comparatives, Comparatives and superlatives. Comparatives and superlatives. Um, this is one of the topics uh, that you will use a lot, a big deal, a big quantity on a real life situation. So I'm sending you the image to the WhatsApp chat. If you wanna take a screenshot, go ahead and do it. Let me, let me change your partner, eight and 10. So, with her, with her, with him, Room six, move to room six. Uh, exchange with her. Okay, and this one here, move to Room three, move to room four, and she will go to room five. All right, here we go, people. So use comparatives and superlatives both teacher yes both so in some cases it's going to be the comparative form in some cases it's going to be the superlative form okay
Thank you. Yes. Is the largest is the largest in our country. Yes or no? Which one are you doing? Uh, number one. one. Largest or longest? Longest. Longest. Longest is better. Okay. But we have okay. to add river. Lampa River is the longest river in our country? No. No. It's the longest in our country because it, it already has the word river. So you don't need to include it uh, two times. You will start. Okay. 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 All right. Six drugs are than tobacco. Are, are, are okay. Drugs are better. Teacher, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see you. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'll write his name down. <laughs> that was a good uh, one. Okay. Carla is Carla more is. beautiful than Daniel. <laughs> okay. More. more beautiful. Most beautiful. More beautiful. A papa is mm. most oh no, the most dangerous. Most dangerous. Don't say a pango. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, a papa is now remember when you're mentioning only two things, yes. you're supposed to use the comparative, exactly. Not superlative. Okay, uh, more, uh, more uh, populated, more populated, more populated, yes, I'm sorry, okay, 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 entonces faster, faster, creo que es. Which, which number are you doing? Or two. Okay. Hussein Bolt is what? Is it comparative or superlative? Christian. Hussein Bolt is a runner. Okay. Yes, he's a runner. So in that case, when you say in the world, how many runners are there in the world? It's superlative. Mm, exactly. Superlative. superlative. Oh, okay. Mm, because okay, okay. remember, when okay. you include three or more, uh, you have to use superlative. If you <laughs> mention only two, then you use the comparative. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. The number, uh, the, the sentence number one, Lampa uh -huh. River is longer. Uh, no. Once again, how many rivers are there in El Salvador? Are there more than three? Yes. Okay. So if you right. mention three or more, you have to use the superlative form. Mm, okay. So Lempa okay. River is the longest. Longest. Okay. It's el más largo en el país. The longest. Okay, longest. Uh huh. Same ball is faster. The fastest. The fastest. What would be number three? Carla is more beautiful than than Daniela. Perfect. Perfect. Hello, hello, hello. Did you finish the exercise? Yes. No. No yet. Not yet. You're still working on it. 
Yes. Okay, good. Mm. Yes, I... What time? To, from to... From 11 to... To, to 7 a.m. Really? <laughs> wow. Hello, Sofia. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? <laughs> okay, teacher. Did you finish uh, all the exercise? Yes. yes. All right. It's almost time to go back to the main session. Hold okay. On. Can ever. Okay. Yes. Fruits are. Fruits are healthier. Healthier than hamburgers. Than hamburgers. Mm -hmm. Than hamburgers. Mm -hmm. Than hamburgers. Than hamburgers. Uh huh. Okay. This is um. The most beautiful place I ever I ever visited. Very good. That's one possibility. Ever How do you say este es el lugar más frío que he conocido, que he visitado? The coldest place the coldest. that I visited. What is the opposite of coldest? Hottest. Hottest. Yes. El más lejos. Far. Farest. Farthest. 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 Yes. Farthest. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Okay. Okay, so what can you say about the Lempa River? What is the answer for the first one? The longest. The longest. The longest. The longest. Yes. What about number two? Hussein Bolt is. What? Fastest. Fastest. The fastest. Okay. The fastest. Carla is what? More beautiful. More beautiful than Daniela. Good. What about number four? More dangerous. Okay. A popa is more dangerous than soya punk. What about number five? More expensive. Okay. Uh, when you say El Salvador is... How many countries in the area? Five. Uh, sorry, I just, smallest. Okay, smallest. the smallest country in the area. Okay, very good.
Another one. Which one? The drugs. Drugs okay. are more expensive. Okay. Okay, El Salvador is the most dangerous, the best country, is the smallest country. So you can use um, any adjective as long as it fits in the in the sentence. So it's it's okay. Uh, what about number six? Drugs are more, more expensive. expensive than tobacco. Okay, drugs are more expensive than tobacco. Funnier. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Funnier. Funnier, teacher. Funnier, teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you say more fun. More fun. Now remember, fun is divertido. Funny is chistoso. So you can say the two options. It depends what your opinion is. So you say uh, drugs are more fun than tobacco. I think that's what you meant, Christian. <laughs> Okay, uh, number seven, fried foods are? Worst. Are worse, worse or worst? Worst. How many things are we comparing? We're comparing fried foods and vegetables. How many are there? Two. Two, mm. so when we mention two, we use comparatives, not superlatives. That's super okay. Uh-huh. So, fried foods are? Better. More delicious. More delicious. <laughs> Better. Okay. What about number eight? Water is? The what best? is your opinion about the water? Uh-huh. The best. Yeah. More healthy. Okay. Water is healthier. Oh, the healthy. The healthiest drinking ever, or the mm. best drinking ever. Okay. What about number nine? Fruits are what? Fruits are what? If you compare fruits and hamburgers, more healthier. delicious. Okay, more delicious, healthier. Um, can you say more expensive? No, huh? Okay, and number 10, this is what? The, the most, most beautiful. amazing. Nice. The most amazing, the most beautiful, the hottest, the coldest, the farthest, the most dangerous. So anyways, any questions about this exercise? No? No. No questions. Okay, so let me get you. Uh -huh -huh. Be patient. We're almost finished. I know it's not easy. Okay. Go here. Do you remember sequence adverbs? Yeah. Uh -huh. Then after that. Okay. First, then next, next, after, and finally. Finally. Okay. So we have ten different situations, and I want you to explain how to do uh, the ones that you choose. So how do you prepare a sandwich? How to send an email? How to prepare a marriage chat? how to make spaghetti, how to touch type, how to oh, swim, oh. how to drive a standard car, how to record your voice on a computer, how to lose weight, or how to become a better person. Uh, any questions about the 10 different scenarios that we have here? Well, you, we only have to choose one. Uh, two, let's say two. Okay. 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 Is all the vocabulary clear? Yes. What's the meaning of touch type? Do you remember? 
what is the meaning of the word type? Only type. Escribir. Ajá, digital. escribir, digital. What is touch type? Okay. What is touch type? So right now I'm typing, but I need to look at the, uh, at the keyboard. If I don't need to look at the keyboard, I look at the monitor. Mm -hmm. So that is touch type. Because when you type, you only touch. You don't need to look. So you touch type, mm -hmm. right? I see some tired faces. Okay. Uh, any questions about what you will do right now? No. Any questions? No questions? Uh, no questions. Question. Okay, let me reassign you again. Ha, ha, ha. I will exchange this person. I will exchange this person here. I will exchange this person. I will exchange this person here and let me see who else she will go to room 10 move to room 10 she will go to room 7 Uh -huh. All right, I have room one, room one, and let's see what's the other room, room eight. Room eight and room eight. Here we go, people.
on bread. Yes. On the bread. Okay. Next. After that, yeah. with the merchant ship. I, I now I remember what are the 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 other the thing that I add to to my soup, the avocado. Avocado. Uh, yes, avocado, avocado. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Hello. Sorry. Yes. Don't, we we don't copy the sentence. Oh. Give me a second. Thank you. Sure, no problem. Um, share. Do you see them now? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Did, did I did I send them to you to the WhatsApp chat? No. 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 Oh. No. Okay. Let me see this here. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Okay, so it's in the chat and it's also here if you want to take a screenshot. Yes. yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, good. No problem. Okay. Number one, prepare a sandwich. Number two, send an email. Number three, prepare a maruchan. Make a spaghetti, touch type, swim, drive a standard car, record your voice on your computer. Will be. Will be. Uh -huh. Will do. La tres. La persona va a retirar la chequera. Okay, again, I write a bank executive for the confirm that is the checklist. Then I inform, I inform my boss. Mm -hmm. Next. Choose the person to go. To go. Yeah. For the for the checkbook. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Choose the person for the checkbook. To go for the for the checkbook. Uh -huh. Make a spaghetti. Which which scenario um will you discuss? Which number? Mm, uh, touch, touch type. Touch type. Mm -hmm. Can you explain how to touch type, Christian? Uh in Un to toque de, de tipo de toque? No. no. I, I, touch type es cuando usted ocupa su máquina, escribe sin necesidad de estar viendo el teclado. Pero eso sucede después de muchos años de estar a la par de la máquina. ¿Me explico? Es decir, yo estoy digitando no. una carta, pero no necesito ver el teclado, sino que estoy solo viendo en, la, en, la, en, la, en el monitor que lo esté escribiendo bien. Mm, como un experto escribiendo. No. Ajá, exactly, exactly. Mm. Porque solo type significa digital. Escribir, ajá. Touch type es solamente que el nombre es literal, porque lo que dice ahí es que solamente tiene que tocar para digitar, no, no tiene que estar viéndolo. Mm, ya. Yeah. So that is touch type. Ok. Mm -hmm. Uh, teacher, ¿cuál es, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Uh, what different the tag y en write? Tag es más, no es graffiti, pero en Estados Unidos eh, venden plumones que son muy gruesos. Entonces, eh, digamos, y el tagging se caracteriza porque, digamos, 
a mí me dicen chico, por decir así. Entonces, si ando escribiendo en todos lados, chico, 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 eso soy un tagger. No es graffiti uh -huh. porque todavía no llega a esa tan, tan avanzado, sino que es, es, es con un plumón y generalmente los manchones son bastante grandes. Uh, okay. Yep. ok. So that is the main difference. Ok, thank you. Ok. The exercise because I just come in. And I choose. Um, oh, how to. to to drive a standard car. Okay. Okay. First, okay. you put the key in there. No. First, you should open the door. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. First, you, you open the door. And uh, then you sit in the uh, in the in, in the, the car. car in the car. Uh, next, you put the, the key on the. How do you say llave? ¿Cómo es? ¿Dónde se pone la llave? Ah. En, en español, no sé. Eduardo, ah. what's the name of that part? Mm, I think the start, but I don't yeah, know. You, yeah, you put the key on start. Mm. Yes. Okay, yes. you put the key on the start. Uh, next and after, you, you put the first, uh, but you have a, 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 a play with the pedals. En primera ya. <laughs> no, with the pedals. <laughs> <laughs> and you... Uh, how do you say you metes? Es que aquí lo decimos como bien. Well, you are clutch. You clutch. You clutch the car and you change it to first. Uh -huh. and, and then you start to, to press the... Los frenos no los quito. No. Oh. No va a arrancar todavía. Y los espejos. Me quedo... No, ya no, ya no te doy la licencia. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you have to check the mirrors too. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> the bar, we give you a little bag to save the, the mask. And uh, all the things that we use are desechables. I don't know how to say desechables. Disposable. 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 All the things that we use are disposable. It's not good for the environment, but. Uh, the decision then. So when you're talking about disposables, you're talking about the things they use in the kitchen, in the cafeteria. In the cafeteria, the restaurant, the bar, all the things. That Everything is disposable. Disposable, yes. Okay. So that's why. And you were, which one were you explaining? No, we're just talking about in the, general. The, here then. Yeah, the things here in the auto. Okay. All right, good. Today? You want, you want to uh, enroll to the next level? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. It's very important for me. <laughs> yeah, it's very important for everybody. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Uh -huh. Regardless. For the moment, is for, uh -huh. for the moment is very difficult. What is difficult, Fernando? Uh, the grammatics. Okay, the grammar. But 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 this is still the study. What is it? But is is still the study. Right. Pero de seguir estudiando. Yeah. You need to study still. Yes. Exactly. Yes, teacher. Yeah. And, and right now, you know, it's because everybody in the class works. And then 
you have to dedicate two hours of your time every day. So it's not easy, you know, mm -hmm. but you will see the rewards after. Yeah. You will see the rewards after. So, okay, I think it's almost time to go back. So let me break our rooms, close all rooms. Ha, ha, ha. Ladies and gentlemen, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. listen to yes. this. Eh, yo sé que no, 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 no está tan fácil quedarnos este tiempo adicional, eh, en especial cuando el, el problema se dio de parte mía, que no sé qué fue lo que sucedió. En dos diferentes ocasiones la, la sesión no se completó uh, de grabar, entonces por instrucciones de Insaforp eh, teníamos que hacer esta sección para poderle dar por culminado el, 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 el curso. Entonces, no me queda nada más que agradecerles. Eh, algunos quizás ya no van a continuar, otros quizás sí, quizás nos cambien de maestro, quizás terminen en otro horario, pues la verdad no sé. Pero para mí ha sido un gran placer haber podido trabajar con ustedes. Guarden mi teléfono, guarden mi número. Si alguna vez yo puedo eh, servirles en algo, pues no lo duden. Y pues eh, nada más agradecerles. Les agradezco su tiempo, su dedicación. Eh, les decía a algunos de ustedes de que pues todos ustedes trabajan y aparte de las jornadas largas que pasan en sus lugares de trabajo, tener que venir a meterle dos horas al inglés, pues yo sé que no es nada fácil, pero les puedo decir con mucha confianza, con mucha certeza que sus, uh, sus lo, los, los resultados a este sacrificio eh, lo van a ver eh, muy temprano, entonces quedo a su disposición, les agradezco mucho y pues thank you very much for everything Thank you teacher Thank you for you teacher Thank you teacher Thank you teacher Have a good night Thank you everyone Bye night Good night everyone Good night everyone Good night that is the last time. <laughs> Bless you. Bye, Ronald. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye, Ronald. I'll miss you. Yeah, I'll, I'll miss you guys you. too. I'll miss you guys too. We're gonna cry. Okay. No, no, please don't. <laughs> cry, cry, cry. <laughs> Listen to Louis. Just cry, cry, cry. Please don't cry. Louis, Louis is crying. Okay. Don't you cry for me. <laughs> so, have a good night. Good night. Okay, bye, bye. Bye. Bye, comforting. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Bye, Madalena.